Um, to win the race, when, they, when your horse hits the front, it's a pretty exciting feeling. Yes, yes, yes. Um, he was a three-year-old taking on the older horses. It had never been done before. And when he surged to the front, 200 metre mark, uh, it was very exciting. And it's certainly one of the races that all trainers will want to win for a long time. Yes, 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 is winding up from the back then to Trekkie and Sandra in the lane. The cut, yes, 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 takes the lead. Sandra in the lane is charging at the end. Yes, 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 wins the Everest. Meets Sandra in the lane. To win any big race, um, I think it's like winning any big sporting event. It's very special. You can see what it does to people. Um, all ages, all, all nationalities, all religions, and, and here we are in COVID circumstances and it's racing's taking centre stage. And when you've got a good horse, whether you've got friends that own the horse, whether you train the horse, whether you strap the horse or ride the horse, there's no better feeling than have, having a part of that success. The buzz of knowing that that day, the Everest day's arrived, the horse is safe, sound, you've done your job to get it there and then let racing take over from there. Um, that's what makes racing special. You can't buy that success. You can't plan it. You can do the best you can in preparing for it, but you've got to wait your turn. The Everest win rates right up there. Um, Winks took things to a whole new level. Uh, the pressure that was involved with her and the expectations and just to see her crossing the line first in any race was very special, but the Everest, the Golden Slippers, the Doncasters, they're the the great stories of, of our sport and um, the Everest. I think in time, if it's not already, will be the race that everybody wants to win.